a bit to silence the crowd here in Hobart, but this man, Ben Stokes, did it, Ben. 77 off uh, 36. Uh, what a way to announce your arrival into Australia. Yeah, it's good to uh, get involved in the first game and, uh, you know, contribute. Um, hopefully we can push on from here and get a big total. You do well down under. What do you like so much about playing here? Uh, I think it helps that the tracks are pretty flat. Uh, not too much swing um, and not too much spin. So, you know, if you, if you slog a couple like I did out there, it normally comes off. There's a bit of uproar about you not being included in the English World Cup squad. Have you come here with a bit of a fire in your belly to, with a point to prove? Uh, no, not really. I mean, no, I've just came here to try and do my best uh, for the Renegades. Uh, so I started off pretty well um, and hopefully it's going to continue. And how are you settling in? Boys treating you well? Yeah, very good. Uh, I knew a couple of them from playing against them, but, you know, everyone's uh, a really good bunch of lads, so uh, it's been good so far. Thanks for your time. No Fantastic to watch. Thank you. Cheers. Shakib, first ball, inventive to say the least. A little lap sweep. That was Ben Stokes' highest T20 score. This man, June, nice has been race. ranked the number one test all-rounder, the number one one-day international all-rounder, and at another time, the one-day uh, the number one T20 all-rounder. So he's a remarkable Any more player. number ones? Well, he's a Number remarkable one in the Australian player. Open tennis as well? Well, a lot of people wouldn't know that much about him. I'm sure <laughs> we'll see him at Melbourne Park in a couple of weeks, but he can do it all. And that's the end of the over. We'll see him in action next. 12 done, 3 for 109. Harvey Norman massive half yearly clearance on now with 50 months interest free store wide. Hurry in for huge clearance deals across all categories. Big brands, big savings, the latest technology, the hottest trends. Buy now and take advantage of zero interest for 50 months. That's zero interest, no deposit with 50 equal monthly payments until March 2019. Just don't miss out. 50 months, no deposit, interest free plus amazing bargains store wide. Shop in store and online. Harvey Norman massive half yearly clearance on now. Three purple dots in order. A Wade, Bold, Finch, caught by painted first slip, and then Stokes. A wonderful innings for 77 off 37. So Ferguson, who's been there a while, going by Chiquette. Well, Fergie's got to take over the scoring now. He's had a good look at the conditions. Chiquet Al Hassan's a, a good good player, good worker of the ball. He's a good player of spin, so he might be suited in uh, this current little period of the game and Fergie's got to start accelerating just listening to Ben Stoke in that little interview uh, his um, interview was just as impressive as the knock we saw he's a bit dour wasn't he well he, he didn't um, get um, caught up with the fact that uh, he just felt what I think was impressive um, what he said that he came here to do his best for the Renegades yeah. and, and it, if so long as he does that and the way he would have played tonight certainly would have impressed maybe the English selectors as well, I hope. I would have thought so. They might have turned the telly off, though, the selectors, after you got to about 30. <laughs> in there, <laughs> Can't in watch there. this. Look for two. But with the World Cup rules explaining to us, June, if you get an injury, you can yeah. bring a player straight in. You so can. He's put himself in a wonderful position. Well, you'd imagine he'd be one of the players on standby. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a like-for-like -like player. It can be a batsman, can replace a fast bowler. Oh, bold. Doesn't matter. So yeah, he's still a chance of playing if there's an injury somewhere along the line. Catch it, Fadi! It's over mid-wicket for a single. If you were telling us earlier oh, on, you were watching the test and watching Chris Rogers, and you said you need a man to play that form of innings, and you brought up the great Larry Gomes, who used to play that role for the West Indies. Oh, yes. Um, folks, uh, you'd hear folks speak about the fact that these guys um, are not that attractive, but uh, sometimes they can be pretty useful uh, for, for, for the team that they're involved with. Uh, Larry Gomes, at times, um, hardly ever give the middle of the bat a workout. <laughs> His cover drives used to go behind square leg, didn't they? But he still got the job done, you know, and uh, Chris Rogers is uh, similar. Um... That's the end of the over 13 done. Three for 114. There's a new cricket snack that's a cricket snack. Edible insects are the future of food. But once they try them, why do our sharks want to buy them? You'll be a multi-millionaire overnight. The brand new series, Shark Tank, coming soon to 10. Present your invention to some absolute millionaires and billionaires and they'll decide whether they're going to fund you on Shark Tank.
Jake Reed comes back into the attack. Viv Richards is telling us about Larry Gomes. What's he up to these days, Viv? Larry Gomes. Well, Larry, uh, I think um, he, he, at one point uh, he had moved to, to Toronto, Canada. Uh, I think he went back home and got himself involved uh, in the coaching side of things uh, in Trinidad and Tobago. But it's just a wonderful person, Larry Gomes. You still live in Antigua, Viv? Yeah, Antigua's still home. Um, that's, You'd um, be the king there, surely. Well, um, I'm not quite sure about the king. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the prince. The prince, yeah. <laughs> Does this Hobart remind you of Antigua in any sort of way? Just looking at some of the hills and, um, and things like that. Uh, and especially when you have days like this, mm. uh, certainly um, it does send a message that um, you're home. Ferguson gives himself room. He's a good timer of the ball. Goes out through point. Glorious stroke. Wonderful work out there on the fence. And that was it. Golbus, it looked like. Just rocket arm back in as well. That was a great stop from mm. the 12th. He's not sure who he's on the field for, but save. I think he's on there. for Travis Burt. Who I, who I think I saw earlier limped off. It's Bert. Okay. Down the leg side, slow on the rear wide. June, last time we were here, you were talking about your great group of test wickets and you mentioned that you'd knocked over Viv. I think we've gone back to YouTube and <laughs> we, we can pull... Here we go. Look at the hair on him. Gee, it's oh, high. Oh, it's oh, high. It's not high. It's high. So Mark Wall, what happened? Six, six, sleep, Viv. six for 512. You won't believe it. I'm suffering from amnesia. Oh, hi. <laughs> what are you talking nah, about? It looks high to speak. Middle Viv. stump out. To, to be fair, that looked pretty adjacent. <laughs> well, well, well what bold. are you doing? You're asleep. Well, bold. Actually, um, I thought it was going to be a short delivery. You're a bit feeling sorry for me. Nah. I'll give Junior nah, a wicket. No, no, You've got to give your credit as well. Just so, nip back a bit? Yeah. That's, that's a little bit off the scene. But you for pace, I reckon. I like could do. Yeah, I think it did. They were 519 at the time for 6 June. That's not my fault. That's true. It's a bowler's fault. That's true. I made them look bad. I come on and just nipped a couple out. There well, we go. Seen back a bit, isn't it? You were just... <laughs> plum, plum. You were late on that, Viv. Plum, I'd say. Um, plum. Oh, it I'll, must have been. The umpire gave it out. You can go on dino than that West now. Indian umpire as well. He gave that out. Ferguson advances and smokes it away through the offside for four. Glorious shot. You had the famous uh, West Indian cap on there, Viv. Did you ever wear a helmet any time playing cricket? Never did. And um, this may sound um, rather rude to some of the cricks that you would have faced, but I never felt I needed one. Well, you looked a bit scared then when <laughs> I bowled you. Yeah, um, these are the stuff that you worry about. You, you don't worry about the Dennis Lillies. <laughs> you worry about the, some of these guys, you know, these little yeah. Mickey Mouse guys. You know? <laughs> so you never felt like you needed to wear a helmet? At no, never, stage? never felt that at all. Uh, I just felt pretty comfortable with my cap, and that's, that's what you wear it for. And when you get your cap, that's, I think, is totally deserved. This time he goes over the leg side. Oh, wonderful effort. Gee, they feel the world tonight, the Hurricanes. And that was Bresnan. The import takes a good catch. And Ferguson departs. Well, that's a big wicket because uh, Ferguson was going well. Just starting to expand his shots. And Tim Bresnan takes a, an excellent catch uh, coming forward on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. It's not easy to dive forward and a bit to the right as well. But that is a top-class catch from Tim Bresnan. He's a big unit too. Not easy to get down, but good balance. Watches it closely. And inches off the ground, that's a great catch, Viv. And especially when you're seeing ball as well, you know, no one expects you to be in that particular position. Uh, pretty low, and what I think was uh, so impressive about that catch itself is just the wonderful hands in which he, 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 he when he got there. And Fergie, good innings, just cut short. Four for one, 21. Uh, the K